A shot of the Celtics earlier, coming down the tunnel. They're not messing around. They're ready to get to work here at home. Happy to have you with us for NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Along with Stan Van Gundy and Hall of Famer Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce will be with us courtside. Now, New York starting five. Josh Hart is out there with Carl Anthony Towns. Then it's OG Ananobi. Then it's Mikhail Bridges. And it's Brunson in at the point guard. And for Boston, Tatum is the four with Porzingis at center. The perimeter pairing is white and brown. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. Well, Grant, this is not your average regular season game. These teams are fierce rivals. Oh, yes, they are, B.A. I love playing in these type of games. I mean, the fans are extra loud. The players are fired up. <laughs> this will be fun. And the shot goes down. Yeah, good execution in close. Holiday likes mixing things up and finishing from this area. Brunson passes to Towns. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Offensively, Carl Anthony Towns is one of the most well-rounded big men in the league, Grant. Yeah, maybe in league history, B.A. He's an elite three-point shooter, post score, and his passing is severely underrated. And that one falls for Towns. Well, Grant, all the high hopes Knicks fans have had in recent years, they have finally come to fruition. Yeah, it really was good to see the Knicks have a great campaign last year. From the players, to the coaches, to the front office, and the fans. <laughs> They've pressed all the right buttons. And so Towns nails them both. Well, he's been very good at the line, and we all know free throws can make or break you in the end. Holiday is screen on Hart. Here's Tatum. And Ananobi pulls it down. Those are precisely the looks this team is trying to create. Yeah, quality offense will serve you well in the long run. You can't settle for bad shots. Now here's Brunson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Now, he may only be six foot one, but Brunson plays much bigger than that. I mean, he plays with a physicality. Out of bounds, it'll be Nick's ball. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Well, I had a chance to talk with head coach Joe Mazzula. He got into it about his strategy against Carl Anthony Towns. These modern bigs are tough to stop, he told me, and went on to say, I'm hoping we can just force him to take bad shots, not the ones that he wants. I'll settle for that. So they're looking to disrupt Cat's selections and keep him from his spots, guys. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Just four to shoot. Towns passes to Hart, puts up a three. Rebound, Boston. White looking it over. Outside, Brown. Porzingis with a screen on Ananobi. And coach, a perennial all-defense performer, Drew Holiday. Fearsome at that end of the floor in particular. Yeah, Brian, he's as good a defensive guard as there is. Great size and strength at the point guard spot. You combine that with his IQ and his competitive will, he is a problem on a nightly basis. First one falls for him. Stan, you look at the Celtics, as high-powered as they come offensively. No question, Brian. They can space the floor at every position, and any one of their starters is able to give you 20 on a given night. Holiday hits them both. You know, one thing you got to love about Drew Holiday is he's a true two-way player in this league. He puts in a lot of work to make a big impact on both sides of the floor. Now here's Bridges. Damn, that one's good. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Holiday against Brunson. Fires from deep. Hart pulls it in. And so it's Hart with it. He brings it up for New York. Pass to Towns. Down low. Oh, it's 
blocked by Porzingis. Great play by Porzingis. Love seeing the zinger engaged on D. Holiday passes to Porzingis. To the inside. And stolen by Brunson. Hard with it. Outside Brunson. Boston with a rebound. Well, I know he can finish at the rim, but the defense did just enough to force the miss. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. First quarter of play, and just over three and a half minutes in. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Porzingis. And timeout is called by Tom Thibodeau. He wants to make sure everybody's on the same page. One thing you can say about Boston, Grant, they know how to put a team together. Yeah, the Celtics' consistency of winning is just impressive, both now and throughout their entire history. They are really the gold standard in this league, and it's mostly because of great draft picks and great trades. Here's Brunson outside. And it's Brunson again missing. Celtics trail by four. Inside. Hart pulls it in. Brown against Ananobi. Outside Brunson. Pass to Hart to the middle. Here's Towns. And Porzingis with the block. White against Bridges. Now here's Porzingis. Outside White. Porzingis with a screen on Bridges. Five to shoot. To win the draft. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And coach, you look at Derek White. Maybe not the biggest name, but he is a winning player. Yeah, Brian, he's one of the most underrated players in the league. He's got a great feel for the Take game at both Take ends of the court. He is tremendously solid across the board. The first free throw is good. White hits them both. For New York, they've gone only three for nine from the floor. Brunson finds Towns. Bridges feeling it out a little bit. The three is up. Gets the three to fall. Bridges has got five now. Oh, productive from back there. Bridges showing the range. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Look, you can get away with a lot in terms of screens today. But you can't make it that obvious. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Horford, he's checked in for Chris Stops Porzingis. Towns against Horford. Back to Ananobi. 
It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. New York shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. Celtics trail by eight. Tatum feeling it out a bit. White the pass to Holiday. Horford a screen on Hart. Pass to Horford. Six to shoot. Pulls it in from the elbow. The shot by Holiday. No good. He'll probably hear about that shot selection when he gets back to the bench. Maybe not their best option. Then. Back to Hart. Screen by Bridges. Outside Hart. From the high post. Holiday grabs the miss. Well, the defense just gave him that shot, and he wasn't able to convert. Very disappointing. Great rhythm to that shot. Tatum right off the pass. Now here's Hart. White with the steal. Drives to the hoop. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Talk about taking advantage of the opportunity. How about the anticipation right there that led to the steal? Then he goes straight to the bucket. Turning great defense into great offense. That's the kind of stop you're looking for. And an OB for three. Boston pulls it in. White with it. And it's Brunson picking him up. And Brown with the stuff. Flashing his athleticism there. Once Brown gets solid interior positioning, he's focused on jamming it home. And we'll have a timeout called by Tom Thibodeau. Coach wants to speak to his guys, maybe alter some of the game plan. And Boston with some changes. Cornette's checked in for Tatum. Hauser comes in for White. And Pritchard is subbed in for Holiday. Boston on D. They trail by one. Pass to McBride. Up top, Robinson. And here's Payne. Clock at six. And the three-pointer goes. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Thanks, Brian. The Knicks, one of the top defensive teams in the league, and it starts in the paint. Coach Tom Thibodeau said, quote, we've prided ourselves on having a tight shell. We've got great rim protection, guys who take charges, and we're aggressive on the ball. Guys, great defense has always been Tibbs' M.O. And nothing has changed now. Thanks, Allie. Boston has gone one for three from beyond the arc. This one for three. The Knicks with the rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Outside Payne. And it's Cornette with a rebound. Well, the analytics don't like it, but if the defense is giving it up, 
I like that shot selection despite the miss. New York has gone two of five from deep. Out to the right wing. Payne finds Towns. The shot comes out. Oh, it goes! He beat the buzzer! The NBA never ceases to amaze me. Unreal! A bomb at the buzzer whips the crowd into a frenzy right at the stroke of halftime. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one. Celtics out in front. They lead by one. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. And if you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Celtics. Wow, those early blocks are key. They are intimidating their opponents and making them hesitant. Yeah, I also like how they've immediately gotten out in transition. They came to run, and we'll see if they can keep it up. And Stan, they always say, for a player, confidence is such a big part of it. How can a coach instill that in a player? Well, as your coach, I think your job is to create a system that the players believe in and they believe they can have success in. The rest of it has to come from inside of the players. They have to believe in themselves. We've got Al Horford, Jason Tatum out there with Peyton Pritchard. Then there's Luke Cornett, and it's Hauser in at the three spot. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. And it's the Knicks with the ball, following the bucket by Boston. Achua with a screen on Tatum. McBride, and it's New York with another. And the lead just keeps changing hands. Five times already, and we still haven't gotten out of the first half. Outside Tatum. Three-pointer. Tatum drills the three. You know, this team relies on Tatum hitting those shots, and that's why he's such a high-volume three-point shooter. Here's Brunson. No good. A bit long that time. Boston has gone three of six from deep so far. Pritchard, the pass to Horford. Blocked! Second quarter, a little over a minute and a half in. Outside Brunson. Three-pointer off the mark. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. Yeah, they might want to draw something up here to get him something at the rim or get him to the free-throw line. Sometimes that's all it takes to snap a cold streak. At 6'8", with a nice release point, Tatum's jumper is a tough one to disrupt. And we'll have a timeout called by Tom Thibodeau. He'll take the opportunity to regroup. Springer, he's checked in for Hauser. <laughs> Quarter two in about two minutes in. So both teams making some changes here. Tatum against Payne. To the paint. Here's Robinson. And a big 
Big finish by Robinson. Come on, B.A. He sure can rise. Grant, that's as good as it gets. One of the best in the league. Pass to Shireman. Tatum against Payne. Shot clock at six. Play clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. And he gets it to go. Yeah, elevating his playmaking skills over time. Tatum is a winner who enjoys setting up his teammates. You know, Grant, in interviews, Jason Tatum often seems understated and soft-spoken. But that's just him, isn't it? That's true, B.A. Tatum has a quiet confidence about him. He doesn't feel the need to be loud or act out. He lets his work on the court do all the talking for him. New York shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And he makes a first. Well, I don't think anyone predicted that Jalen Brunson would become the player he is today, Grant. Yeah, that's for sure, B.A. Or he definitely wouldn't have been a second-round pick. He's a hard worker, a competitor, and an elite offensive player. Hart's checked in for New York. Bridges comes in for Payne. So he gets them both. And Stan, you got into coaching right after college. When did you know you wanted to be a coach? Brian, that's easy. As soon as I figured out that I didn't have much of a future as a player, I knew I wanted to stay involved in the game. I wanted to coach. Here's Robinson following the bucket by Boston. Pass to Hart. Here's Brunson. He's got it. Just two of seven from the field, though. The lefty getting it to go. <laughs> Jalen Brunson once again. Outside Holiday. And here's Porzingis. No good with the triple. Now here's Brunson. Six points for him. Outside McBride. There's the triple. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. And the chess match continues. Seven lead changes already, and we're still in the first half. Down low. Oh, look out! Porzingis! Great body control by Porzingis. He sets a good pick and then rolls right into a scoring position. Brunson finds Robinson. Bridges outside. And again, New York with the triple. They keep capturing the lead, then giving it back. We'll see if they can hold on to it this time. Well, this is why the fans are here. Each team trading blows, increasing the entertainment value. Yeah, the moment Horford has the rock down low, good night. I mean, just too many moves from the vet. McBride passes to Bridges. And the Knicks, another three. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Yeah, you've got to lock and trail hard. You can't allow him a clean look for him. Now here's Tatum. Outside Holiday. Shot on the wing. And it's Boston scoring again. Always reading the angles. Holiday's able to find his shot. Robinson against Porzingis. Robinson can't hit. Austin trailing. Tatum with it. Give him eight points now. Pass to Pritchard. Screen by Horford. Pritchard, the pass to Holiday. There's Tatum with the three. Hart pulls it in. New York has gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. And a big finish by Robinson. Just such good vision from Brunson. Uh, he's able to spot a guy ready time to out, attack. Time out. And Joe Mazzula calls timeout here. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Well, that's the job, right? Your duty as a coach is to finesse your lineups so your guys get the best chance to succeed.
And Boston with some changes. Brown comes in for Tatum. And it's White in for Pritchard. Here's Porzingis. Oh, stolen by Ananobi. Pass to Hart. Inside. Here's Bridges. Good work defensively by White. Coach loves the execution, just not the result. That's okay. That's part of the process. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Jalen Brown is playing with so much confidence. He said, quote, I feel like I'm a different player. My body has changed. Athletically, I'm entering my prime. I'm more aware on defense and offense. I feel like on both sides of the ball, I'm playing the best basketball of my life. Well, it shows, Allie, for sure. That's good from Horford. Well, Stan, in this league, the opportunity always exists to make a name for yourself. It certainly does, Brian. And guys that maybe haven't gotten their opportunity, if they're ready when they get it, then they're going to burst onto the scene and they'll no longer be under the radar guys. Look at a guy like Jalen Brunson, second round pick, bench guy in Dallas for a long time, and then now an all-star. New York shooting their 6th and 7th free throw shots in the game. That's good from Bridges. And Mikhail Bridges, still one of the better wing defenders in the league, Graham. Yeah, he's so great at pestering a shooter. Good lateral movement and wingspan makes him hard to get around. He might not be the best in the league, but he is well above average. So he picks up just one from the line that time. White against Ananobi. And there's White. That's good on the assist by Holiday. And Holiday takes this responsibility seriously. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to them. against Ananobi. Pass to Bridges. Clock at four. From deep. Horford pulls it in. Horford's got four rebounds now. Brown with it from behind the arc. And Brown knocking down the triple. Well, you know, when Brown's hitting the three, it really opens up this offense. Pass to Bridges. And count it. Now five for seven. And so it's Holiday who brings up the ball for the Boston Celtics. Outside White. And he's going for the lob. Hey, great communication on the lob. And the Celtics lead by four. Nice touch on both ends of that alley-oop. Hey, when he let go of the pass, I had no idea what he was going for. Drops the first. And the Celtics making a change here. Cornette's checked in. And the Knicks making a change here as well. McBride, he's checked in for Payne. And so Towns nails them both. And he's shown a great touch at the line. They've tested the big guy, but he's come through. Here's Holiday. And it's New York with a rebound. Here's McBride. He's got five. Here's Towns. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Towns has got four points this quarter. And the first half comes to a close in a tie game. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? 
Thanks so much. I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. And, Tom, what's it going to take down the stretch to win this ball game? I think just tough defense, take good shots, not turn the ball over, play smart. Back to the basics. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Boy, you look at Mikhail Bridges. What a contribution. Through the first two quarters and change, his perimeter shooting continues to be spot on. Yeah, he's been locked in tonight. Through the first two quarters, he's been a huge factor from outside. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. And on the floor for Tom Thibodeau as we get into the second half. We've got OG Ananobi. Carl Anthony Towns is out there with Josh Hart. Then there's Jalen Brunson. And it's Bridges in at the two. Now here's Tatum. Tatum on the drive. And he banks in the layup. Tatum's got ten. Yeah, once Tatum sees a gap, he is gone. Off and running. Pass to Hart. Here's Brunson outside. Rebounded by the Celtics. And here's Brown. Outside Holiday. Wide on the wing. Shoots over Bridges. Hart pulls it in. Hart's got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Brunson. Now Ananobi. They get it back. The kick out to Brunson. Second chance effort. Tatum pulls it in. Tatum's got four rebounds in the game. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Carl Anthony Towns. An ascending superstar, Tatum has really honed in on what he does best on the offensive end. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And that one falls for Tatum. Just money from the line. Tatum knows the importance of making free throws. off on the second well he's got to be disappointed that he wasn't able to take the lead but at least he even things up Hart can't hit Boston has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter lets it go from the wing a nice shot by Tatum Tatum's got 13 it's not surprising to see Tatum taking over offensively I mean he's capable of doing this on a nightly basis and timeout is called by Tom Thibodeau. He's going to talk it over with his guys.
And we're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. Hard up top. Pass to Brunson. A shot from the high post. And that one's good. Brunson's got eight points. And so effective from these in-between spots. Brunson doesn't need much room to feel comfortable. White, the pass to Tatum. And the Celtics tack on two more. Well, the defense can't lose track of him. He's just too talented offensively. Here's Towns. And Porzingis with the block. White on the wing. Back to Holiday. Pass to Tatum. Now here's Holiday. Brown scanning the floor. Shoots over Ananobi. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. Brunson passes to Bridges. Back to Brunson. Let's it go from deep. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got his seventh rebound of the game of that last one. Oh, it's stolen by Towns. And Anobi with it. Guarded now by Holiday to the inside. Hart passes to Brunson. Sneak it inside. It's Brunson. Inside Brunson is pretty deadly. Just dropping his shot in. Outside Tatum. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got his fourth assist in this one. Not only is he putting up the numbers, but he's doing it at a very efficient rate. Exactly when his team needs it. Now here's Brunson. The shot, no good. Uh-oh. Did he change his mind on the way up? I think he did. Here's Tatum. And it's Boston scoring again. Every year, Tatum seems to improve as a scorer, taking on the responsibility of shouldering the offense, too. Pass to Bridges. And he converts the layup. Bridges has got 16 points now. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Outside Holiday. Brown with it. From downtown... The Knicks with the rebound. Towns has got six rebounds in the game. And you look at Jalen Brown, Grant. Not many wings have the strength he has. Yeah, Jalen Brown could dunk over a brick wall. And he could dunk through a brick wall, too. It's just so hard to move him off his path when he's on his way to the rim. Boston leading by three. Now Brown. Ten points for him. Tatum a screen on Bridges. Right side, Porzingis. Ooh, strong take by Porzingis. Unselfish basketball. That's what coaches love to see. It's hard on the wing. Outside, Ananobi. Back to Bridges. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. Hart. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. The Celtics have gone six for nine in the half. Pass to White. Here's Tatum. Tatum showing off the strength. And watch how Tatum navigates the contact. Just one of the many go-to moves for him in the paint. Here's Brunson. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's on Drew Holiday. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. Shoot for two. That free throw good from Brunson. Some changes for Boston. Cornette checked in for Kristaps Porzingis. Horford comes in for White. And Pritchard is subbed in for Holiday. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And it's Tatum with a ball for Boston. Four-point game. It's hauled in by Robinson. New York has gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. 
Outside McBride. No good from outside. For Boston, they've gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. On the wing, Tatum. He's got 22. Cornette in the post. Working on Robinson. The putback. Controls the rebound and the putback. Oh, phenomenal hustle. He has a knack for those boards. Man, he is tenacious when that ball goes up. Right wing. And here's Payne outside. Hits the three-pointer. Payne's got six. And the find by Brunson. More than capable of running the offense. Outside, Brown. Pass to Cornette. Cornette sets a screen. Here's Pritchard. And it's New York with a rebound. Right side, McBride. Outside, Brunson. Robinson, a screen on Brown. To the middle. That's good from Robinson. On the assist from Brunson. And now just a one-point Celtic lead. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Left side, Tatum. And finished by Tatum! Wow! And you don't always get to see this from Tatum. Adding the sizzle to the stake. Outside, McBride. Can't tie it up. That one misses. And so it's Jason Tatum making highlights for the Boston Celtics. An insane quarter. No one could stop him. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, he puts that pass right on the money and made things look easy for his teammate. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. They've got Peyton Pritchard, Al Horford out there with Luke Cornett. Then there's Jason Tatum, and it's Hauser in at the three. That's the Boston Five. Now here's Brunson. Oh, Brunson with the triple. Don't let Brunson get hot. I mean, he'll answer all game long. Screen by Horford. There's Tatum with the three. And it's New York with a rebound. Down low. Here's Toppin. And a slam dunk by Toppin. Well, he led him with the pass there. Almost like a quarterback timing a route. That was impressive. Horford passes to Pritchard. Screen by Horford. The three ball. The shot won't fall. New York trailing. Up top McBride. Horford covering. Toppin outside. Inside. Tatum with the block. There's the link Tatum provides on the defensive side. He can change a game on that end. Pritchard, the pass to Tatum. The three is up. They get it back. Cornette. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for Boston. Well, I love how connected they've been defensively. They're right into shooters and piling up block shots. Yeah, they've also done a great job of running. Attacking when they get the chance. Always a great idea. So it's Boston now. After the basket by New York on the other end. Yeah, such a good-looking jumper. Nice high release. Tatum can do this all day. Here's Payne. Pass to Sims. Here's McBride. Toppin outside. Three-pointer, no good. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. From the strike. Again, the Celtics. Good for two more. And trying to put the game away, he's been nails all evening. Yeah, but you can't let up now. We've seen too many wild comebacks in this league. Now here's Payne. Toppin outside. Outside Payne. Off target with the three. 
Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Pass to Tatum. Horford, a screen on Brunson. Tatum from long range. Drew Holiday's checked in for Boston. Mikael Bridges checked in for New York. Knicks trail by six. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. And it's Tatum with the ball for Boston. Pass to Pritchard. Jacks up a three. Tatum against Brunson. Now here's Tatum. Defense is right there. Here's the three. Nails it from three. And it's a nine-point Celtic lead. Defensive mix-up there. He's the last guy you want to leave open. McBride passes to Brunson. Can they get it? Brunson inside with the finish. Assisted buckets. Every team wants them. They show you're running effective team offense. Horford passes to Tatum. Yes! Great play by Horford to set him up. Tatum's got 38 points. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Well, what I love about his three-point shooting is the spacing that he's adding. It makes things a lot easier for everyone else. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, you know it's become a three-point shooting league. Teams shooting a steady diet from outside. Here's Cornette. Pass to Holiday. It's rebounded by McBride. Knicks trail by seven. Bridges finds Brunson. Bridges, a screen on Holiday. Here's Brunson outside. Boston pulls it in. Cornette's got rebound number eight now. Here's Pritchard. Takes the three. And it's Tatum missing. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Pass to Bridges. It's stolen by Tatum. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. And there's Holiday. That's good. On the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got his fourth assist in this one. And timeout is called by Tom Thibodeau. Looking to get everyone dialed in and engaged. And some changes here for the Celtics. Kristaps Porzingis, he's checked in for Cornette. Brown comes in for Horford, and it's White in for Pritchard. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey guys, over the last break, I listened to Tom Thibodeau address the team. First and foremost, he wants to see more points in the break. He asked his team, where's the urgency? We know what we can do in transition. Now let's go out and do it. We'll see if they can pick up the tempo, guys. All right, appreciate it, Allie. Now here's White. Pass to Porzingis. Bridges against White. Brown can't hit. And it didn't register as an official block, but he did everything you want in disrupting that shot. Well, you know, sometimes the most pivotal plays don't always go on the stat sheet. Porzingis for three. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got five assists in the game. Brunson against Holiday. Outside Hart. Pass to Brunson. Elbow shot on the way. And down it goes. Two points. Brunson's got 17 now. Just in the second half. There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter. They've got time on their side here, Grant. And if they're smart, they'll milk the clock a little. Porzingis with a screen on Hart. And it's Tatum missing. You can hear him sputtering all the way over here. He knows he should have knocked that one down. Here's Brunson. Deflected. How about the defense from Holiday? Reading the play and using his defensive instincts to swat it back. And this is a game they can build off of. They kept their focus all game long, and it will get marked as a win for the Celtics.
And at first glance, it appeared to be an easy win for them. However, they had to weather some storms along the way, Grant. Yeah, in terms of competitiveness, it was a lot closer than the final score indicates. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Jason Tatum. Well, offensively, they needed him to be aggressive, and he delivered. What a game. Now here's Brown. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Holiday passes to Brown. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And Brown doesn't mind getting roughed up on the way up. In fact, he embraces it. And that one misses. He hits the second from the line. Now here's McBride. He's covered by Holiday. And out of bounds. Boston will have it. We see the Celtics taking the W here. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor, and they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Coach Stan Van Gundy, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. And let's reveal our player of the game. Jason Tatum 